picked for $40 from a local antique shop. Are you ready for this? Sold on Poshmark in about 45 days for $1,000. Listed for $240. I got into shower. Oh, <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm like, took an offer of $1,500, paid 30. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I am going to talk to you about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I am gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And these were shared by members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, and they posted under this post, share your best November bolo. So um, if you're not in the group, definitely go join and look for the share your best December bolo. And I will feature it in a video just like this. Thank you guys so much for being here. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and we are gonna get started with some bolos. All right, the first one says, free to me, got three of them, sold one so far. It is a Eco Lab water filter. So I don't know if this is a refrigerator filter or what kind of filter it is. I do know that on my Vero videos that some people talk about certain refrigerator filters being a Vero. I don't think it's this brand, but I'm not sure. So definitely be careful listing refrigerator filters. I don't even know if this is a, a refrigerator filter or some other type of filter. So um, just be careful with refrigerator filters. And if you have not checked out my Vero policy violation videos, I have a whole series. It's basically kind of the same thing as this. I post a post that um, asks members of the group to share any policy violations, items that were removed from eBay, suspensions, and I ask them to share what happened and any information that they have from eBay or a screenshot of the item. And this helps everybody learn not what not to list, pretty much. So it's complete opposite of what my channel is about, but I feel like it's really, really important that we know which items are like in current time being taken off of eBay. I know there's a Vero list and that's great, but these are items that they're coming after you. So um, they're taking them down, they're removing them. Um, one of mine that got removed were the bubble lights and, um, I had had those up forever and I had sold them before and there was never any issue. And then there was a big new policy that went into um, eBay and to effect and I didn't even think about it. It was hazardous materials. And I guess the fluid inside of those bubble lights are hazardous materials. So eBay went through and took everybody's down. Now I will say that they did not... Um, there was no suspensions that I know of. Everybody just, the item was removed with no penalty and you were told not to relist. So that is one thing. I did a whole video about it, um, but it's things like that that you may not know about that you're gonna find in these Vero videos. So definitely check out that series if you have not already. Okay, this one came from a church sale, paid $2 and sold for 40 and that would be equivalent to a U.S. $2 and a U.S. sale of $45. And this is what it looks like. It's a vintage Tilly, ooh, Endurables, multicolored TW2 tech hat, tweed wool size, seven and three eighths. So that's what it looks like. And I just love it that they're like, there's so many people sharing their bolos and I love it. It's not just USA sellers, you know, other countries are coming in and sharing. I had one from Canada and another video. That is awesome. Thank you. I encourage you guys to come and share your bolos too, because there's lots of people in other countries that are watching these videos also. So, um, it keeps it relevant and educational for everyone. Okay. Took an offer of $1,500 paid 30. 
Oh my goodness. This comes from 360 Vintage Company. He is not um, a member. It's three, actually 360 VTGCO. This is what it looks like. You can see his store right there. Um, but Ron has been following my channel since the very beginning. He um, actually is the person that talked me into getting on Poshmark and Mercari. And this was before List Perfectly. So I manually cross posted like 3,000 items to Poshmark and Mercari. Manually, meaning I did it all like took pictures. Oh, it, it was a nightmare. It took forever. But Ron talked me into it and I did it. And I was glad that I did it. But then List Perfectly came around and I'm like, hallelujah. So um, if you don't know what List Perfectly is, best thing ever. Um, it's basically a a cross posting tool that helps you cross post your items quicker. I have a video down in the description. I actually walk you through how it works. I show you how to do it because I'm one of those like, you're not gonna like get me to like look at something if I don't know how to do it. And I want you guys to see how it works. So that tutorial or demo video is down in the description. If you watch that and you decide you wanna try it, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies all one word. So whenever I see the name Ron or Vintage 360, I'm like thinking about that nightmare when I had to cross post manually before list perfectly. So anyway, I ended up getting him. I, I was like, hey, you got to check out list perfectly. So he ended up signing up for list perfectly. But anyway, let's get back to the bolo here. Uh, this is a vintage, um, it's a petroleum sign. And it's double-sided metal porcelain. You guys, he paid 30 bucks for it and took a best offer of 1,500. Looks like I just sold something else. You know what I'm gonna be doing after I uh, do my videos? I'm gonna be shipping for like the fourth time today. How are your fourth quarter sales? How's it going, guys? Are they coming in? I know I am selling a lot of toys. I think that people are buying used toys for their kids this year, and I love it. I mean, why not, right? Why not? Okay, found this on the rack to go, on the rack to go out at Goodwill for $6. Okay, so it wasn't on the floor yet. It was on the rack. I audibly gasped. Listed and sold for two, sold within two days for 200, including shipping. Two days later, I found two pairs of wool Filson pants. Okay, so Filson is definitely a Bolo brand. So that's why she was like, oh, you know, when you, when you get so excited or you do the, oh, and you look around to see if anybody else sees if you see it or if they see it too. And you're like, you're just getting it as quick as you can. Tell me if you've been in that situation. And what was the item? I did that at the Goodwill Benz. Um, and I lost all of my footage, but I was super excited. I'm like, this is going to be great footage. And I lost it. I deleted it. I deleted like 18 videos, but we don't need to talk about that. But mine was Avon calendars, two of the Advent Avon calendars. You guys, my heart was racing when I saw them and I'm like, oh, and I'm grabbing them as quick as I can and putting them in my cart. And then I'm putting stuff over them. I'm like hiding them, hiding them in my cart. I'm like, I don't want anybody to steal these out of my cart, but oh, it was so exciting. And you know, my heart doesn't race with excitement usually, but I saw those Avon calendars and I'm telling you, it was pumping. It was pumping. So that's probably how she felt when she found this vest. Um, it's a Filson men's ma Mackinac, Mackinac, 100% wool vest, forest green. And she sold it for um, $189.99 plus shipping. So $200 all in for that. I'm getting really sidetracked in this video. I apologize, you guys. Bought three surprise boxes of horror, horror VHS at a local thrift store. Each box had 10 tapes. Boxes were 15 each. First one listed for $75, accepted offer of $70 in less than 24 hours. It says Black Christmas... VHS 1974 horror. So it's a Christmas horror movie? Hmm, never heard of that one. Bought this Star Frontiers P 
RPG game at a yard sale for $5, listed it for $99, and took a best offer of $75. It is a first printing July 1982 Star Frontiers box set sci-fi RPG game, Missing the Dice. All right. Through the Bible with J. Vernon McGee. Bible commentary complete set from personal collection. Been packed away in the garage for 20 years. Finally decided to clean it out. Listed for 70 plus shipping. And that's what it went for. Oh, here's that jacket brand I can't pronounce. Arcturex. It looks like that. Um was my father-in-law's. He passed. I wanted to keep it for myself, but we didn't get much rain here, so I made the decision to sell. Listed for 240 and I and I got into a shower. What? Listed for 240 I got into shower. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm like, what does getting in the shower have to do anything? All right, let me finish the sentence. I got into the shower. By the time I was out, it had sold. So it took him... The time he showered to sell this item. That's funny. Uh, $240 on this. And it's a Gore-Tex hybrid jacket. That's what it looks like. That is hilarious. I'm like, what? what's going on here? All right. Eddie Bauer Luna Peak Down Jacket. Size XXL. Paid $5. Standard price for jackets at my local thrift. Small town local thrift store, Ontario, Canada. Sold in offer to Liker for $80.00 with $9.99 ship offer. Was listed for $100 with $13.49 ship charge. Took home $55 after cost of goods and posh fees. I would have liked a higher return. However, it sold in about a week, so I'm happy with the fast sale. This is my first Eddie Bauer pickup. I'll definitely be on the lookout again. It was very lightweight, almost a packable style. Retails for $259. Okay, you can see here, she does have a stock photo. Um, in my Vero videos, we talk about stock photos, especially on eBay. Um, do not use stock photos on eBay. eBay will come after you for stock photos. Poshmark, I think, is a little more lenient. However, I have heard some people say that their stock photos are getting taken down. My opinion on this is do not use stock photos. Take your own photos to be safe. Um, and you can see she's got a picture below it, which is her personal photo. And I know the stock photos, they look so much better because they're on a human and it really shows just the fit and everything. I get it, but um, have someone model it. It's not worth getting your listing removed. So check out those Vero policy violation videos, okay? I bought this Ralph Lauren duvet cover or I'm sorry, duvet comforter for $10 at the Goodwill and sold it for 140 free shipping on eBay within a week of listing. It's a Ralph Lauren Prairie Plains tan embroidered floral full queen duvet in cottage core. Is cottage core? I can't remember. There's one verbiage that you can't use on eBay. It gets taken down. I don't know if it's cottage core or there's another one. I don't know. Ooh, somebody's going to help me out. Somebody's going to know because they've probably gotten their listing removed. Shabby chic, maybe. It's one of those two. Be careful with those words. I can't remember which one it is. Um, somebody put it down in the comments because I know there's a clothing reseller that is going to know the answer to that. It might be shabby chic. This was a new to me brand. Poshmark Canada sale. Brax feel good copper. Fancy regular fit chino. Never heard of that. But I'm not up to date on clothes right now either. The material feel and high-end look is what made me take a second glance at these. Purchased at a $5 bag sale, so my cost of goods is less than $0.50. Cents. They sold in under a week for full asking price of $50. I took home $40, less the cost of goods on the sale. I will pick these up every time now. Purchased at a local small town thrift in Ontario. Full price sale on Posh are exciting. Okay, so I guess I didn't realize that Canada was on Poshmark. So does that mean that we can sell to Canada and that we can buy from Canada? Let me know in the comments. Um, I do Poshmark, but I haven't really looked into um, international sales over there. So if anybody knows and can fill me in and fill everybody else in and put that in the comments, that would be awesome. 
bought for $5 at a yard sale, sold for best offer of $238 in less than three days. Vintage 1970s Hobby Hustler fiberglass skateboard, original label wheels and trucks. That's what it looks like. Johnny Loves Junk. You can see his uh, eBay store there. He is definitely a bolo finder. He shares a lot in the group. Found this at the Goodwill for $8.79. It sold on eBay in about 48 hours for $129.95 plus shipping. It's a vintage 19, 1965 Three Mountaineers Herbs and Spices wooden spice rack cabinet. And this is what it looks like. Bought for $10 at the Goodwill and sold it for $400 best offer in less than four days. It's a vintage jadeite uranium refrigerator dish tray green pan. $400. Oh, I just sold something else. I'm telling you, fourth quarter. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Loving it. Okay, here is my bolo item. How I learned that I have found a gem was when two men in the Goodwill tried taking me, talking me into giving it to them. Both had the same sob story of how they have been looking for one. Nike salute to service pixelated camouflage hoodie. This was, uh, wait, this one is Carolina Panthers, but I think any team would sell for as much. Cost of goods, $4.50 and sold by offer of $79 on Poshmark. And this is what it looks like. So in the comments, if you have had a situation where somebody tried to buy something from you while you were still in the store, tell me that story down in the comments. Um, I recently watched a video by Gore Jess. It's G-O-R-J-E-S. This is her YouTube channel. And she did the hashtag Ben's Bingo Challenge. And to see all those videos, what you do is you put hashtag Ben's, ben, Ben's Bingo in the YouTube search and it will pull up a purple hashtag. Click on that hashtag. All the videos will pop up. I gave everybody a bingo card and they had to go into the Goodwill Ben's and find those items. But oh my goodness, she had the funniest story about this shoe. And if you guys go to the Goodwill Benz, I know at my Benz, like if I have a shoe and they have a shoe, like one of us just hands over the shoe to the other person. It's just real nice, right? You guys, go watch her video for this story. Um, here's the screenshot of what the um, actual uh, video looks like. And I was cracking up. I mean, it was a big ordeal about this shoe. And the outcome, it really wasn't that great. So um, go check out uh, Gorgeous about these shoes. Too funny. Um, and sub her up. She's also over on TikTok and she makes awesome TikTok videos. And I see them all the time. I'm not on TikTok, but I uh, see them on Instagram all the time. She's fantastic. So uh, definitely check her out on Instagram and TikTok as well. I bought this for a dollar at a church sale and sold it for 90. It's a Tiffany and Company porcelain world map globe trinket jewelry box made in Japan and it sold for 90 bucks. I bought this at a yard sale for a dollar. It's a fire and ice for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Listed it for 199.20 plus shipping. It sold for full asking price in 2 months. Same buyer bought another NES game from me at the same time for 25. So fire and ice, cartridge only. That's what it looks like. Sold this Dior perfume set. I got it Goodwill for $9.99. Took a best offer, was listed for $150 and took $115. And it looks like this is new in the original packaging, I think. I don't know. Here's the photo. If it's not new in the original packaging, I'm going to say do not list it on eBay. Um, we are going to talk about that more in a future Vero video. Somebody just had a um, three-day suspension, so more to come on that, so stay tuned. Picked for $40 from a local antique shop. Are you ready for this? Sold on Poshmark in about 45 days for $1,000. Listed it high because no prior sword solds on eBay or WorthPoint and couldn't find another listed anywhere. I think it was an unreleased promo from NASA rejected. 
$1,000 on Poshmark? Oh my goodness. And he brings up a good point. Um, worth point is incredible. I know that I have sold so many items for more money because I have worth point. And what he learned from this is it's not on eBay. It's not on worth point. It is definitely a rare, hard to find item. So um, I do have a referral link for worth point down in the description if you guys want to check it out. I also have videos of how I have made more money using worth point. Anyway, this is an Apollo moon kit and this is what it looks like. 40 bucks into one thousand dollars and it was a poshmark sale how cool is that all right you guys thank you so much for being here thank you to all that shared i appreciate everybody that shared if you would like to share in the december uh facebook group post it is under the featured announcement section over in this group uh, my bolo buddies facebook group it's the one with the white and the black i also have a blue and black facebook group but it's the black and white one where you're going to post um, it's the one with like 77,000 members. It's crazy. It's crazy over there. And if you guys join the group, if you have an issue with anyone in the comments, leaving a mean comment, please hit those three dots or push your finger on the comment on your phone and report that to the moderators. Um, it's myself and my moderators, but we cannot read every single comment of every single post. Okay, 77,000 people are in the group commenting and posting and we don't have time we are full-time we work full-time some of us have other jobs some of us do reselling full-time I'm trying to do reselling and YouTube um, it's a lot and if you guys just help us out by reporting those comments we can give the person a warning take the comment down or we can just completely kick them out of the group depending on how mean the comment was and if you're coming over to be in the group be nice. And if you can't be nice, just keep scrolling, okay? Because there's going to be questions that you think are dumb, but everybody is at a different reseller level, okay? So you've got beginners, people that are called newbies, and you've got seasoned sellers in the group. So for the most part, people are super helpful and you are going to learn a lot of bolos by coming over to the group. But again, please help us out by reporting. Really, really appreciate that. If you guys are new to the channel and you're going to subscribe, um, first off, let me know how you found the channel and let me know if you made it this far in the video. So if you made it this far in the video, comment below, I made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for being here and thanks for watching.